Welcome back. In this video, we're going to look at a more general form of the for loop. In the last lesson, we saw the basic structure of a for loop in Python. For i in range, and then some number in parentheses, and then the body of the loop contains code that will repeat that number of times. So as we saw, this prints hello four times. In this lesson, we're going to look at a more general form of the for loop. If we want to start our loop at a value other than zero, we can add a second parameter inside the parentheses. The first number indicates the starting value for i, and the second number is one past the ending number. In this example, the variable i will start at one, and it will gradually be incremented up to, but not including six. We can also add a third parameter to indicate the amount to increment i each time through the loop. In this example, we will loop from 1 to 9 in two-step increments. It is important to note that if you want to specify an increment, you must use a three-parameter version of range, even if you want the loop to start at 0. Here's an example where i goes up by 2 each time. It starts at 1 and goes up to, but not including 6. Let's go back to the version of range that needs just one number. That number can also be a variable. Remember, it just needs to be an expression that evaluates to an integer. That means we can ask the user how many times our loop should run. OK, now let's go and explore this in the editor. OK, let's look at a couple examples. First of all, we're going to do a countdown. So we can start. Uh, at a higher number. So we can say for i in range 10 down to 0, and remember that will not include 0, and we can increment by negative 1. Okay, and then let's just print out i. Okay, so again we see we start at our value of 10, we end 1 before that, and we're incrementing by negative 1 each time. So we start from 10 and we go down to 1. If we wanted to get 0 in there, we would do something like that and we can then get our zero in there. We can also look at how we could count up to 100 by twos. So if we say for i in range from zero to 100, counting up by twos. And now notice, even though I want to start at zero, I still have to specify that if I'm going to specify an increment. Okay, and there we go. And again, we stop at 98 because 99 would not have been in our count by twos, and then 100 is out of our range. So now it's your turn to explore.